The Kadal Salipso Story, a succinct radio series in 25 episodes, tracing the history and development of Kadal Salipso music. Episode 8 Innovation and novelty are often faced with resistance and sometimes from some who are unknowingly valuable participants and beneficiaries. Kadal Slipsa was first recorded in December 1973 and released in January 1974 and was there to stay. In the Kadal Slipsa story, two names are inescapable for having been the first to jump on the train led by Exile One, a man and a band. The man is Ugly Debs, who was the first producer to see some potential in Kadash Slipso when the Exile One album with Atata was released. He anxiously awaited the return of Exile One to Guadeloupe from Paris, but meanwhile, he recorded an album with the group Milestone, calling the group Henri Debs et le Combo Sensationnel. And in addition, he titled his album Tata. The group is Milestone. We will recall that Milestone, with another name, was in Guadeloupe as the resident band at La Dacha Nightclub in Gouzier during the summer of 1973. Gordon Henderson placed them at the Dacha and found a place for them to live in the town of Gouzier with a Calypsonian childhood friend, Ezekiel Mills, who also worked at the Dacha. By the carnival of 1974, Exile One and Kadas Lipso music had taken over the Creole dance music charts. The song Atata became a carnival anthem in Martinique, Guadeloupe, and French Guyana. From an historical perspective, the Kadas Lipso story would be incomplete without speaking of what has become probably the most important tourism town in Guadeloupe, the town of Gouzier. Gouzier is a stone's throw of the then commercial capital of pointe -à pitre but with lovely beaches and a village-like atmosphere. When Gordon Henderson wanted to bring over the first Dominican group to Guadeloupe, he chose a group from Portsmouth, which became Milestone, but renamed them the Lawrence Brothers. That was the summer of 1973. Gordon had a friend of a friend who owned a beach restaurant and nightclub in Gauzier. He had already landed his childhood friend Ezekiel Mills a job in the restaurant, so the Lawrence brothers lived close by with Mills in Gauzier. After the departure of Milestone, Gordon brought in the musicians selected by Fitzroy Williams on November 9, 1973. Within a month, the group was named Exile One and moved from Gauzier to the top floor of a 19-story apartment building called Tou de la Gaba. Andrew Bellany, then known as Bird, before becoming Stone Ranger of the Reggae Cowboys, a multi-instrumentalist, arrived in Gauzier from Dominica on February the 9th, 1974, exactly day to day, three months after Exile One. Bird got very involved in the music scene. He did hotel gigs with Levy King and others 
before rising to become the star drummer of the Cadan Slipso group, Below Men. Jeff Joseph arrived in Guadeloupe from St. Joseph in Dominica and inevitably went to Gauzier. Bird and others were instrumental in taking Jeff around to meet the movers and shakers of this cadence lipso phenomenon which was growing and spreading like wildfire. Jeff Joseph was impressed with the cadence lipso scene in Guadeloupe. He went back to Dominica and returned to Guadeloupe with the Gramax, Fresh Soul and the others. And that was in April 1974. Guess where? Gauzier, of course. This Gauzier connection, established in the summer of 1973, attracted every Dominican band. After the Gramax came Liquid Ice, Below Men, and many others. The town of Gauzier in Guadeloupe mentioned in a few cadence lips of songs holds an important place in the Cadence Lipso story. You have been listening to the Cadence Lipso story. Be sure to listen.